few weeks ago, I went to the 2023 Washington, D.C. Fountain Pen Super Show. And this is apparently the largest pen show in the world. I went with my friend Sandy and it was so much fun. And I filmed a bit of it so that you would come along with me. So let's go. So I didn't film too much at the pen show uh, just because it was my first ever show and I really wanted to be in the moment and just live in that experience and it was so much fun. I am really glad that I went. I got to spend a lot of time with Sandy which was so much fun and meet some brands and try out some pens and just be surrounded by a lot of other like-minded fountain pen lovers. Uh, it was just a great experience. We also had so much fun watching the live podcast taping for the Goulet Pens Pencast. Um, it was a lot of fun and just really cool to kind of watch a podcast being um, recorded and seeing how they do all of that. We also got to meet Brian and Drew and they were just so nice and really great to talk to. But anyway, all that to say it was a really great experience and I am so happy that I went um, and looking forward to next year. So I didn't purchase too much at the pen show, but here are the things that I did purchase. So the one thing that I knew I really wanted to prioritize um, was this Toyuka Craft 
pen box. Now, it wasn't this specific one, but when I saw that Toyuka Craft was coming to the DC Pen Show, I was very excited and I put them at the top of my list. Toyuka Crafts is a Japanese brand that makes some beautiful handmade wooden desk items as well as fountain pen boxes and I follow them on Instagram and when I saw that they were going to be coming to the DC Pen Show, I was so excited and I made sure that we prioritized going to their booth and taking a look at their items and in my mind, I knew I wanted to get something from them. So I purchased this Hanoki Wood 8 pen pen box and it's so beautiful. This is in the lighter color wood and it has two drawers with pen storage um, lining and this has like a, a pink lining in both. Um, it's removable. Um, I wouldn't have chosen this color, but it was exclusive for the show that they made it only in this color. Um, anyway, so really nicely sized drawers and they're both removable. And I think this was just a really great size. Um, they have some really large boxes, but I just wanted one that would sit nicely on my main desk and not take up too much space, but also um, just be a convenient spot for my most used pens. So that's what I will be using this for. The top is also really nice because you can also store like inks really nicely and it kind of has like a, a nice edge to it so it won't fall off. I'm very happy with it and super excited. Um, it's, it's gorgeous. Um, the other thing that I purchased was this pen rest and I got it in the black brown color and this is the single pen rest and why did I get it in this color rather than getting a matching one with the box? Well, I figured I would be giving this to my husband for his desk, but then when I got home, I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to keep it for myself. So I actually kind of like the contrast that this different color gives um, between the two. So, and it really holds pens nicely, even oversized pens. Which brings me to my next purchase. So I purchased the Esterbrook SD Botanical Gardens um, fountain pen and I'd had my eye on this particular Esterbrook for a while and they were so popular that they sold out pretty quickly um, online. And Esterbrook, I stopped by the Esterbrook table and they had a few of the botanical garden pens uh, left and they said that those were the only ones that they brought and they were like the final ones from their actual shop stock. So I got lucky and um, they had the one I wanted with the gold trims and the last medium nib which was great because um i wanted originally to get another journaler nib which is the one i like which is ground from a medium but then i tested and i also wanted the techo nib which had sold out like everywhere but good thing i tested it because i didn't actually like it it wasn't it wasn't um what i imagined and didn't really fit my writing well so I'm glad I was able to test it, but I tried the Scribe custom nib as well and really liked that. So it just so happened that the nib grinder that they um, collaborated with for the Scribe nib was actually the nib grinder that I had an appointment with on Sunday at the pen show, JJ Lax. And so um, it turned out really well because um, he was able to grind the medium nib into a, a custom scribe for me. So it was really cool because he um, observed how I wrote and custom ground the scribe nib just for me. So this is now a custom scribe nib and I am really happy with it. And with my Esterbrook pen purchase, they also gave me 
a pen sleeve. This is the new Esterbrook pen sleeve. I believe it comes in like three colors. I got the olive green color. It has like the beige, almost like a suede um, on the inside, which is really nice to protect the pen. And I got it to match my Esterbrook olive green pen cup. So really like that. I know that they sell these now online um, and I think for a certain time they were giving them free with any new pen purchase on the Esterbrook website. The other nib that I got ground at the pen show by JJ Lax was in my Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini in this is the Chaska. It was a Nagasawa exclusive like limited edition collaboration that I bought um, online from Japan. And I this was a B nib and um, it was perfect because I had it ground to a custom architect and it writes so nicely. I am very happy with this one. He did an amazing job. And funny story, JJ Lax, we were talking um, just about like growing where we grew up and things like that because um, I saw that he was also from New Jersey and I also grew up in New Jersey. And it turns out he's the cousin of someone that I grew up with, like a childhood friend, which is wild. So that was really cool. And then I stopped by Atlas Stationers booth. Uh, they had a ton of their items for sale that they usually sell in the store and online. I have been eyeing this Rickshaw Bagworks sleeve for a while, so I picked it up. This is the Two Pen Koozie sleeve in Van Gogh's Starry Night. Um, I initially wanted the Three Pen sleeve, but they sold out of that one really quickly, they said, in this pattern. Um, but this size is actually perfect for my daily journaling. I just keep it with my journals and the inside is so nice and plush that it really keeps your pens protected well. I almost forgot one of the first things that I purchased at the pen show was this Yosegi charm from Traveler's Company. Um, it is like a wood grain. Um, this is the light kind of white version. Um, they also have a dark brown version and this is like their house charm they also have a circular one which i really like um but they did not have that at the pen show and i know they sold these on the u.s website but then they immediately sold out um so i was happy to see it at the pen show and finally could pick one up um usually they're only available in japan i believe um so i have this on my standard olive traveler's notebook with a brass charm from bomb kuhen and then the dc pen show is really well known for their vintage pen vendors and so i picked up this vintage 1930s schaefer balance pen i believe it's the mini size because it's smaller than the full size um, and the vendor i bought it from did such great uh, restoration work. And so this pen is in such good quality. He fixed it all up himself. The nib feels like it's brand new. It's so nice. And it's a vacuum fill pen. Um, he gave me a really great deal on this. And Sandy and I were talking to him and he just said that he doesn't charge so much for his pens even though it takes a lot of work and time it's more of a hobby for him and so that's why he loves doing this and was just selling them for um fun so really happy i got this um, one of my goals from the dc pen show was to kind of take a look at more vintage pens and purchase one if i saw one that caught my eye so i'm very happy with this and Maybe we'll get some more vintage pens in the future. Galen Leather was a sponsor of the pen show, and so they had bags um, for all the attendees. Um, and in the bag was also a pen sleeve. 
so I got the dark brown leather one and then they were giving away the bags by the end of the weekend so I also got another one and it had the nude leather pen sleeve in it as well also at the pen show every year they have like a color of the year ink that they give away um, and this year if you were one of the first 200 attendees to show up on Saturday you get to take home a full bottle of the ink of the year and so Sandy and I of course were there very early and we got the ink this is the Monte Verde Viva Magenta, which was the ink of the year. It's more of like a reddish magenta. I would say it's more red. It's really pretty. I don't know if I'll use it so much. Anyways, that was my tiny pen show haul. I didn't purchase a whole lot, but I'm really happy with what I did purchase and receive at the show. Overall, the weekend was such a memorable experience, especially as my first ever pen show. I'm really glad I went and I'm looking forward to going again next year. I hope you enjoyed this video and coming along with me um, to the pen show. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever been to a pen show or are you excited to go to a pen show? Thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!